Welcome to The Strategic Plan, an audio series exploring three areas that are helping to shape bright, grounded, connected, and inspired students well beyond their years at Leo Beck. We will dig into the topics of social, emotional well-being, and differentiated learning to see what these buzzwords are all about. And we will visit how teaching Jewish identity has adapted to meet changing times. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the show. And now back to my conversation with Jamie and Lauren. Okay, so we talked a lot about all the things that you guys are doing over at Leo Beck um, in terms of SEL. How do you how do you measure its success? Um, it, how do you know it's working? How do you know what to emphasize going forward? What to kind of um, you know scroll back on um, if it's not working? How do you guys measure all that? Mm-hmm. So this year um, we worked with coordinators from the different grades. So the grade one to three, four and five in middle school. And we implemented surveys to be completed three times throughout the year. So this was intended to help us track the progress, see the areas of improvement. So they did a first survey back in October. They did a second in February. And then the final survey will be taking place in May. Um, Some of these areas we inquired about were self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, sense of belonging, kind of all the things we've mentioned this far. Um, And we know that the emphasis Leo Beck is putting on social emotional well-being of its students is working because our results showcase this, showcase this. So we are more than happy to talk about some of our results. Um, And another thing that we do as social workers is we have a confidential tracking document that is organized by grade, issue at hand, and intensity of need. So mild, moderate, severe. Um, And we also track when we open and close cases and the frequency of sessions. But that is strictly between just the social workers. That has nothing to do with our coordinators. It's not shared with anyone. And like no names are released to any other staff other than social workers. And that tracks like students or or the instructors? So for that, that's just students. That Those are the individual individual students that myself and Lauren work with. So when people are, it's identified either through their teacher, parents, or the coordinators or administration. These are the direct one-on-one sessions we have with students. And you track your results there, right? Exactly. So we track how often we see them, what the needs are, and, you know, the intensity of what it is. Is it mild? Is it something, you know, just going on at school that we need to help them through? Is it something a little bit bigger? Um, and just seeing the types of cases that are coming also help us understand the needs of the school. Right. And how do you guys stay uh, accountable to that? Like, that, how do you move forward every time in terms of the individual things, but also the the overall SEL approach? Yeah. So we do hold ourselves accountable by doing these regular assessments and surveys. Uh, to see the effectiveness and impact of SEL programs, but we also offer professional development for staff to have the knowledge and skills to effectively support students' social emotional well-being. So this could involve training in areas such as restorative justice practices, collaborative problem solving, or mindfulness techniques. Another way we stay accountable is by involving our parent community. So this can be shown through our parent speaker series events to help not only educate our staff, but also the parents of the school. This also allows parents to participate in SEL programs and initiatives. As a school in general, we have set clear goals and action plans at the start of the year to plan how to increase social emotional well-being. This is done with in collaboration with the coordinators and the specific SEL lessons we work together to create. So this is based on themes that have been presented in previous years in specific grades. So for example, um, grade one to two, like Jamie said, we could focus on inclusivity if there's a lot of you know leaving out at recess and things like that. Themes that just come up over and over again in, the, in that age group. Um, and in middle school, maybe we'd focus more on resilience. Uh, lastly, our administra- as administration, we meet weekly to review students in need and make sure that we're on track with addressing needs and providing follow through with supports. This is intended to hold ourselves accountable in order to best support our students and families. Can you just talk a little, you, you mentioned uh, like uh, initiate, initiatives like with parents and the, and the school body itself. Can you just touch on that a little bit? Like give me some examples of things you've done in the past. Yeah, so I'll go into the parent speaker series events a little bit. So 
um, maybe three or four times a year, we invite someone from the community, whether it's a social worker, psychologist, um, someone that specializes in a theme that we're focusing on. So for this this year, we had um, our theme was around anxiety. We had Jennifer Kalari, we had Dr. Alex Russell, we had Leanna Lowenstein come and speak with our parent community and our staff and basically provide a session on strategies, um, tools. There was some time for questions and answers that could be submitted either anonymously or through us. Um, And that really allowed for everyone to engage in a personal way and really understand, you know, what our goal is, what we're trying to help our kids with, what we find important as a school. Um, And we really, really do encourage parents to be involved in that. And sorry, how often do you do these these series? Every couple of months. Yeah. Okay, cool. Great. Yeah, it depends on the years. Sometimes it's three times a year. Sometimes it's four times a year. Kind of just depends on calendar. Amazing. Um, any anything else you you guys want to make sure we touch on before we uh, head on out of here about SEL? I mean, I'm happy to share a little bit about our surveys and just to kind of show sure. you that it's it's working. Please, uh, we believe it's really you know we're seeing a positive outcome from all of this. Um, I guess I'll just speak very quickly about the primary year, so our grade one to three. Um, so. In grades one to one to three, one of the things teachers were looking for is whether or not the SEL instruction was having direct impact on the students. So was it working? And this was covering a specific topic or skill in the classroom over a few weeks. So what the teachers would do is they would, let's use inc- uh, inclusivity just as the example, they would teach that for a few weeks, and then they would try and see if that, if the students are actually embedding that into their day to day uh, interactions with others. So, um, one of the things we asked them was if they knew if they were comfortable of who to go to when they were upset in school. So 16 per 16% of the grade one students felt they didn't know what to do when they felt uncomfortable or upset at school, but the grade one teachers spent a lot of time helping the students learn to identify their feelings and how to move from one zone of regulation to another. Um, and become more independent with this. But then as of February, only 1% of students in the wow. grade don't feel like they can do this on their own. So that yeah. that is a very positive increase that shows us that the teacher's lessons are are working. That's amazing. Crazy. You guys should feel really proud of yourselves with that. That's really, really great. Thank you. Um, Jamie, Lauren, thank you so much. This was really, really insightful. Um, really helpful. And I hope that the parents and the, everyone at, uh, at home listening to this, uh, understands a little bit more about the goals of SEL within Leo Beck. So thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the strategic plan audio series. I encourage you to keep learning about what creates true educational excellence and how a strong Jewish independent school is flourishing right here in Toronto. For more information, visit leobeck.ca, go to the About drop-down menu, and find all you need to know on the Strategic Plan webpage.